Evelyn died sometime around midnight. Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. That doesn't seem genuine, obviously. Was he at home writing? Writing? Time of death. After midnight. Um... Hold up. Missing ring. Torn vagrancy. This, I don't. I'd say that's a lie, because look at that. How does she have half? So the, the letter's something. Pawn rings, handbag. This just means he got. So I'm, I think I'll do torn letter. Well, I don't... Haven't you got parking tickets to hand out? Let me really ask him. Evelyn died sometime around midnight. <laughs> Remind me, where were you? I was at home, writing. I'm working on a manuscript. It's such bullshit. I don't know if he's lying or... I mean, he's obviously lying, but I don't know if I have the evidence to prove that he's lying. See, this could be that he was around midnight. I think I'm going to say he's lying and torn letter. You're lying, McCaffrey. You were out at the rail yard. And what do you have that proves I was there? Do we? Torn letter, I suppose. What about the book? No, we found that at, at the place. Tire iron. Vagrancy lipstick. Torn letter. I think this is my winning one. How about half of Augusta Summer's last correspondence with her daughter? What are you talking about? After you were done beating Evelyn, you searched her and found her mother's letter. That old lady's anguish amused you. I know nothing about a letter or Evelyn's goddamn mother. So what was it doing on your writing desk? I don't know, but... If I didn't put it there, somebody else did. Try exercising your powers of deduction on that. Well, we got him. He's He got all defensive, that's for sure. We found the lug wrench that Evelyn was battered with in your apartment, and the note from her mother, and your blood-stained clothing. We have you cold, McCaffrey. You think if I could be bothered to murder Evelyn Summers, I would be stupid enough to leave the evidence in my apartment I don't think he's lying. Yeah, he is. He's got that smirk. So I don't have the evidence that he's stupid enough, but I can doubt it. If it was planted there, that's wrong. Fuck. Mastermind must be at work here. You got a name, McCaffrey? Tiernan. Who else? I was under the impression you thought Tiernan incapable of tying his own shoelaces. It's oh. either going to be you or Tiernan, Grosvenor. Make it stick, detective. The party has good lawyers. So I, I gotta. I don't want no part. I don't know, man. The captain finds out. Dead. I don't want to let it go. I, I got more on that dude, but. Operator, give me dispatch. Cole Phelps, batch 1247. How can I help, detective? I need the jacket on a Grosvenor McCaffrey. Just a moment, detective. McCaffrey was formerly under surveillance by the Red Squad. Convictions for petty theft. Dishonorable discharge from the Army during training at Syracuse. Assault on a local woman. Says he almost beat the woman <coughs> to death. Thank you. Oh, snap. Now what do we do? Can we go back and talk to his ass? I don't want to make homicide. You know you've got him made if you can get to that desk. McCaffrey's the guy we just talked to. So 
I could probably go talk to him. Let's go back to him. You were in the war? Yes, I was. Seeing the things that I saw, it changes a man. I came back here determined to change things. All I wanted was a pen and an opportunity to speak out. You told us before that you had only minor run-ins with the police. You didn't mention petty theft. I've never been in trouble for violence. That's the salient point here, isn't it? That's a lie because we have the evidence that he was. Lying, McCaffrey. You have a history of violence towards women. How do you turn a couple parking tickets in a petty theft misdemeanor into an assault charge? Well, we got your criminal record, dumbass. We know all about you and your dishonorable discharge. Beating some poor woman near to death in Syracuse. You've never been in combat, McCaffrey. Your whole life is a fraud. She was a goddamn peasant whore! She tried to steal from my wallet. I could have fought for this country. I could have... You beat her because she stole from you. Because she tried to outsmart you. The ignorant audacity of the bitch. What is a man supposed to do? Sit there and take it? How is a man supposed to call himself a man? And Evelyn Not by Summers, beating a, a woman. Poor, drunken nobody stole your book. And she got what was coming to her. Well... Yeah, I think we can charge this asshole. Governor McCaffrey, I'm charging you with the murder of Evelyn Summers. She was a sad lady. Who never hurt anyone except herself. I hope God finds a way to forgive you. I wonder if you leave the investig. Congratulations, boys. You bagged the fine catch. Another red to boot, Grant. Now, I want you to put this business about a repeat offender out of your mind. This McCaffrey creature shows no remorse. And neither will the grand jury. You would have to walk a long mile to find a better candidate for an unmarked plot in the prison graveyard. I wonder what happens. I wonder if the other guy had some involvement, though. It's possible. Oh, I didn't find all the clues. I missed one. Governor McCaffrey can write a tell-all memoir from his cell on death row. So we did the good side. We did the good one. That's good. Because he's on death row. That's an, that was a perfectly normal uh, sentence for someone who commits murder. We have lost most of Shaughnessy and Dunn's squad. His gunny is dead. First platoon is in worse shape. That medic is either crazy or the bravest man alive. Now we rally with the first. The try for the Naboo. It's sheared to the left. To the right, it goes right through a pass with two Naboo's and infillate. Mate, we can I'm lose everyone. Sent to lieutenant. Get back off this fucking bridge. They'll start walking the mortars back to their own positions. We only have I'm minutes. I'm in charge here, Sergeant. Get your men off the bridge, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? We don't have time for this, Lieutenant. What's your unit, Sergeant? I company 22nd Marines, Lieutenant. And we just saved your ass by four. The river. My orders are to reconnoiter the. I think that point is now moot. You have ten men left. My orders are to save what's left. Move out. Bad decision on his part, I'd say, from the looks of things. Come on, bro. What are you doing? You're slacking. Well done, lads. You did well with the Summers case. But we have a problem. The examiner received a new letter today. Do you mind if I take a look, Ray? Go right ahead. They've both been rinsed in gasoline like the previous letters, so I can't lift a print. There's a few of them here. Poem. Another snippet from the Shelley poem. Shelley poem. Looking in wonder up to heaven while yet the music pealed along, I hid myself within a fountain in the public square, where I lay like the reflex of the moon, seen in a wave under green leaves. 
So uh, this guy's just bugging me now. The poetic works of Percy Bichet Shelley. To suffer woes which hope thinks infinite. To forgive wrongs darker than death or night. To de defy power which seems omnipotent. To love and bear. To hope till hope recreates from its own wreck the thing it contemplates. Neither to change, nor falter, nor repent. This, like thy glory, titan, is to be good, great and joyous, beautiful and free. This is a lone life. Joy, empire, and victory. Huh. And the cunt note. No one else but cunt the BD, no find me where I hid myself. Note is from the Dahlia Maniac. He definitely also killed Teresa Terrell. So Mal and I agree. But where does that leave us? If this is the Dahlia killer, and he is responsible for the Terrellson murder, not to mention the Molotov. Hang on a moment, Skipper. Let me finish, Rusty. We have five birds in hand and none in the bush. The department will not survive a scandal if we have to let them all go without catching a fiend first. Your careers would be over for a start, gentlemen. Looking in wonder. Ah, oh, fuck it. I knew this run was too.